So we had some requests from some of our subscribers to see an updated tour of our camper. So we are going to show you inside and out, talk a little bit about some of the things that we've changed or just some of the th ways we have certain things set up. So we are uh, currently boondocking at a uh, conservation area. So everything you're going to see is technically how we boondock. So you get to see all that. Okay. This is our little shower potty room. And we have another video where we show <laughs> setting this up, which might have been slightly amusing because it was the first time. But anyway, so, okay, so here's our little shower potty. And uh, we have a little solar shower bag that we can hang. If you see right up there, there's a hook that we can hang that shower bag on. And there's the potty. Darby, get out of there. Um, so for our little rely, Reliance, reli yeah, uh, porta potty, we just use uh, hefty trash bags and um, kitty litter right now. But it has been suggested us, to us to use uh, pine pellets, horse bedding pellets or something like that. So we may look into that, something we can get at track. Okay, so we're going to start on this front side of the trailer and tell us what we have in here. Okay, so in my front toolbox, I have my two deep cycle batteries. I have a thousand pound or a thousand watt inverter and I'll have all our extra cords and extension cords and all that kind of stuff, uh, blocks, leveling blocks, all that stuff. Okay, so. I've got two plugs. Both 110. Uh, I've got a 30 amp breaker box in there that they both run through. Uh, this top one we usually run mostly just the air conditioner or heater, whichever one is kind of designated for that. And then this one here actually runs all the outlets and the lights and everything inside the trailer. That you wired yes. yourself. Yes. Okay, so for the back, we don't have any kind of a lock system on the inside. So we just use these puck locks on the outside. Uh, we don't have really take the ramp down. Um, not until we get a big enough mosquito net to cover the whole thing. Then we might drop it down. But as of right now, we just put these little puck locks on there. Okay, our little windows that we got are 12 by 18 shed windows or playhouse windows. Um, we got them off of Amazon. They're pretty cheap. Uh, the reason we went this route was because the oval ones, I couldn't find any of them that were really small enough where I didn't have to cut any kind of supports. These, as you can see, fit right between the supports, so, there's, so there was no cutting whatsoever. And they do have little screens. They raise up and down. They are tempered glass. And so far we've had absolutely no issues with these windows at all. For air conditioning, we actually have a 8000 BTU portable air conditioner it's the single hose uh, so what I ended up doing I vented it through the floor which I think you're gonna see some pictures of how the holes are in the floor um, the intake on this is actually on the side so what I did I built this box out of uh, the leftover foam that we had from insulating it so it's basically an intake box and I got two more holes over on the other side for an intake that way it does not pull the pressure down or use any of the air out of the uh, uh, trailer, it'll actually use it, out, you know, from fresh air from outside. All right, so first thing I'm going to show is our sticker board. Put this on the wall, use the command hook, and you can see all the awesome channels and Instagram peeps that we've gotten stickers from, traded with, and it's also on the flip side. Pretty much filled that one up. Maybe some room here and there if you got little tiny stickers. So we've got a lot of stickers from a lot of really cool channels and really awesome Instagram people. It's really fun to collect the stickers. So if you want to st trade stickers with us, our uh, email's in our about section. Shoot me an email. Okay, so I'm going to start with the cabinets just because he was already doing the air conditioner. And so I want to show you. We actually added this shelf 
fairly recently, uh, before we took our trip to New Mexico and Arizona and stuff, and that was absolutely amazing, because I can stack a lot of food in there. Normally, that dish bucket is down below, and so are those bags, but uh, he moved them so he, he could talk about the air conditioner. But, so we always have storage down here. That's right now is our kitty litter for the potty that we have outside that we just showed you. But, yeah, so we can get quite a bit of food in there, and that's really awesome. So our doors actually just, it's really hard to do one-handed, just sit on there, and like that. That's it. And we have another one over here. And it's housing like our little uh, electric heater and our trash bags for in here and for the potty, um, barbecue utensils, things like that. Okay, so then, of course, there's the countertop, which we used one of those put-together puzzle maps and epoxied it and just put some little decorations on there and they're all epoxied down. And this is our our uh, boondocking stove there. I do have a little electric hot plate. I didn't take it out, but I do have that for when we're plugged into electric. And I have a couple of shelves here housing my uh, pots and pans and plates and bowls, which the plates are over here right now because we just ate and I just washed those up. And then, of course, my uh, coffee maker, which if you've seen some of our other videos, you know I have one of those little Java drips for when we're boondocking so that I can still have my coffee. Just have to boil some water and make my coffee that way. That is housing mostly all coffee stuff. <laughs> I do have these. Awesome. I got two of these that I won on RV Underways. Uh, live stream and these hold your coffee pods so I'm thinking about sticking them on here and putting my coffee pods in them so if I do that I'll be sure and uh, post a picture or something make sure you're following us on Instagram because I post a lot of pictures on there that I don't normally uh, put on our YouTube always put in. and we did build this little shelf here and it stays bungeed down except for when we're obviously sitting and we're plugged in then I am bungee it so we can use it. But I was keeping that down in this storage and it was kind of just inconvenient and a hassle and I didn't care for it. So he, Jesse built me a little shelf and we just keep it there and it travels very well. It has not popped out yet. Fingers crossed. Don't want that to happen. There's another storage shelf and we use these little fancy dollar totes from Dollar Tree and the first one you can see that is Darby's tote so that's where we keep like her wet food and her cookies and her bowls and uh, her tie out and things like that her doggy placemat and stuff um, this one has um, duster a little wine cheese kit because you never know when you might need to open a bottle of wine right um, extra storage uh, containers my pink zebra uh, wax melts and stuff and then this is just various junk <laughs> flashlight lighter stuff like that oh and my picture of my tombstead drawing fell off on our last trip and i haven't yet got that fixed and hung it back up but i will get that done this is just uh we roku stuff and tv obviously we only use that when we're plugged in to electric so we don't do that when we're boom docking really um, there's our bunks, and if you've been following us, you know we used to have a full-size bed that went from her dog pen all the way over to this little vanity shelf, and we took that all out, and we made bunks. And then we've got storage underneath the bunk for our spare tire. We've got a couple of tote containers underneath there for whatever, extra clothes. I think I have a blanket in one the of them. The blue roller is for our gray water, because we don't want to be dumping water on the ground. And obviously our Mr. Buddy. And then this was another addition that we added recent, fairly recently. And that houses all of our clothing. So all those totes. And it worked really well because um, we used had like hoodies and jeans and all kinds of stuff when we went to Arizona because it was actually kind of cold. 
So we had all that and uh, it worked very well. We've got a little mirror here. And then we've got her sink, which is not plumbed. That is just is a basin. That's it. And I use that for like washing face, brushing teeth. And then that water goes into our gray water tank. And then that is our toiletries, towels, and all that kind of stuff is in there. I recently added this refrigerator shelf, which we didn't paint or anything. Can't, I don't know, you don't really see it too much. But it's really good for keeping our jugs of water, and we just keep the refrigerator bungeed in, and it works great. And then, obviously, this is Darby's bedding area. That's where she sleeps. For when we opened the door, we had a screen door that we made, and it was too much. It took too much space, because we had it where it would open up this way, and you'd have to, like, finagle around it, and if you two people are in here, and the dog, and it was just too much of a hassle. So we took that off, and we actually have the uh, mosquito net screens that we haven't used yet but we have that to put up around the door and it'll you know so we can keep the bugs and stuff out there's the windows from the inside i think that pretty much covers the entire trailer we hope you enjoyed the tour of our camper if you have any questions or comments please go below if you haven't subscribed to our channel we hope that you will subscribe just hit that red button don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos be sure and give us a big thumbs up. You're more than welcome to share any of our videos. And we hope to see you again on our next happy adventure.